come with me to get naked in front of strangers. Today, I'm doing a boudoir shoot. It's wild, but that's me. Right? Okay. Right? <laughs> So how did I get here? Well, in 2023, my life fell apart, or at least it felt like it did at the time. I got divorced, I was crushed, and I had to start over. And I started the slow grinding process of trying to claw back a sense of myself and a sense of my life as a single woman and essentially rebuild myself. And it fucking sucked. But along the way, it did get easier day by day. And now, finally, I'm in a place that feels good. It feels like I have the space and energy to focus just on me and on building my best life. And feeling empowered and confident in my own skin is a big part of that journey for me. So I added do a boudoir shoot to my 2024 goals list and here I am, driving to Kansas City for a shoot with a body positive boudoir company that seems to speak to so much of what I'm looking for. I am so nervous and this is an entirely new experience for me, so let's do it. So before we hop into the photo shoot, let's get into how I prepared for this experience. And to be honest, I didn't prepare that much. Part of the reason I chose to book this with Good Bodies, the boudoir company I used, is because of their focus on body positivity and how thoughtfully they craft their experiences. Um, hi, my name is Tay, otherwise known as Tayana. I run a studio called Good Bodies here in Kansas City, Missouri. I've been doing boudoir since about 2016 and our tagline is boudoir for everybody. We try to focus on marginalized bodies and uh, pose for mobility rather than for size because everyone deserves to feel sexy. And I tried to stay true to the spirit of good bodies and didn't focus on trying to change myself before my shoot. I didn't go on a diet. I didn't try to lose weight despite my own insecurities. I focused mostly on enjoying my life and living in joy in the weeks before. I did, however, let myself nitpick one thing as it gave me a sense of control. And for me, that was my tan lines. I like to cycle and have really wild tan lines for my bike shorts. So for the first time in my life, I went to a tanning salon for a few short sessions to try to even out those lines before my appointment. And beyond that, Good Body sent a survey in advance of my photo shoot that really put me at ease. It asked for my pronouns. It asked what I was nervous about and what would make me feel more comfortable. It asked about my hair and makeup preferences and more. Now let's get into the photo shoot, which was the scary part that ended up being such an incredible experience. The biggest thing for me is I want people to feel comfortable in a situation that isn't really. <laughs> um, it's one of the reasons why I insist on folks getting hair and makeup done when they're here is so that we can kind of talk, shoot the shit a little bit so that you get to you know, know exactly what things are like. Um, you feel a little bit more comfortable with me. I have a playlist playing for you. And um, obviously I want folks to also feel empowered, but like the biggest thing is feeling comfortable in your own skin because even if you leave here and obviously you love all of your photos, I want you to also have loved the experience just as much so that you can tell other folks about it and so that you feel proud sharing your photos and your experience with people. So we started with hair and makeup and as someone who doesn't wear makeup day to day, I asked for full bold glam. I felt like this would be a way to really lean into the newness of the experience. And I don't even know how to do a full face, but I am glad that I asked for bold. I felt really powerful when I saw the look and that's definitely a feeling that I wanted from this experience. And then I picked some looks from the lingerie closet. Actually, the lingerie closet is what has a lot of people who come into my studio for. Uh, I made it so it would be, it would break one of the barriers between folks getting boudoir photos done because I noticed that a lot of times people were intimidated or didn't know how lingerie could fit or the things that they looked best in. So I started collecting things of all shapes, sizes, colors, um, so that that way when people came into the studio, if they did not want to have to bother with getting lingerie, they could come in and find anything that they might want. This closet and the availability of lingerie to choose from in multiple styles and sizes up to 6X is a big part of why I booked with Good Bodies. I didn't have to invest in new lingerie and I got to try on things I wouldn't normally try from the closet. And I found a few looks that I loved, which also challenged me a bit. Then it was time to shoot. The playlist was going and Tay talked me through the whole experience. We started off with a discussion about my mobility, history and preferences to make sure that the poses I was directed into weren't harmful or painful. And Tay modeled each pose and gave me tips and direction before shooting. The process of the photography itself took a couple of hours with multiple outfit changes and poses utilizing the furniture and props throughout the studio. Some of it was really challenging, I'll admit, but we were laughing and joking the whole time. And I ended the shoot feeling so tired Tired, but also so good, like, like I could do anything. It was really empowering and I did get to preview a few of the shots before I left and just from that peak, I knew I was going to love them. And I'll end this video with a few reflections. 
One, this was a very expensive experience, but I do think it was worth the cost. The shoot, a large metal print, a printed leather bound photo book, and all the digital high res files were over $3,500. But the value of working to reshape the way I view myself in this new phase of my life, that's priceless. And I know, I know, <laughs> and I know that sounded trite as hell, but I really mean it. And I'm also so glad that I did this as a single person, that I didn't do this for some partner's birthday or in connection with anyone else. These photos are just for me. And though I will definitely be showing these to someone or even multiple someones if I feel like it, there is no one else that can impact how I feel about this experience. And I mean, just fucking look at these. Thanks so much for watching. I've put information about good bodies in the caption if you wanna learn more about them. And don't forget to hit subscribe for more videos like this, exploring food, travel, building your best life, and so much more.